welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society in Geneva, Switzerland in 2016. And I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Magdalena Guy, who's head of the regulatory authority in Poland. So tell Hello. me, what progress is Poland making in becoming an information society? Every year uh, we are very good in the mobile network uh, infrastructure. The penetration uh, of the voice is 150% uh, and when we are going to internet, mobile internet, it is 94% uh, of Polish citizens using mobile internet. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are not so uh, good uh, in uh, fiber. Uh, in a fixed uh, network and uh, our duty, my duty and the duty uh, for the government nowadays is to create appropriate environment uh, to boost investment in fiber. What sort of criteria do you need to have for that you know, enabling it is, environment? It is a very uh, complex um, problem or pro, pro, uh, complex uh, ideas. Uh, we need uh, appropriate uh, legislation. Uh, I prepared a special act uh, which uh, help build uh, infrastructure. Uh, we have the solution connecting with uh, how to catch the period uh, during the investment uh, process. Uh, we try to uh, prepare good market analysis for the incumbent operators uh, to try uh, give them uh, some uh, tools, uh, not only obligation uh, to uh, to build um, uh, fiber. And since last year, we uh, starting observing that something is going slowly, uh, but we uh, uh, we have the the investment in fiber. But still a lot to do uh, before us. Of course, when we are talking about the um, uh, information society, it is also important the demand and the skills uh, and uh, all this equality. Yes, I am thinking about uh, young people, uh, elderly people, about women, about men, uh, about the children. Uh, yes, and all these problems uh, which we met uh, nowadays, connecting with uh, tra uh, threats in the in the internet and cybersecurity. So uh, we uh, made every year the, the progress, but always the government, the regulator, uh, has a lot to do. Last year you were chair of the WISIS uh, 2015. Yes, so you're obviously. I had the pleasure to try the WISIS. Uh, this year the focus is very much on how information and communication technology can accelerate the 2030 sustainable development uh, goals. Um, how do you see ICTs playing a role? You know that the WISIS, the ICT, it is the engine. Uh, for all these uh, processes. Um, nowadays, as you know, the internet, the communication is the bloodstream of, of the economy. And uh, we can't imagine uh, any activities, our even personal, private activities, without access to the internet. So when we are talking about sustainable development goals, about the agriculture, about the culture, about the women, gender equality, uh, everywhere we need the uh, tools, ICT tools, and uh, it can really help. Uh, green ICT, smart cities, the solutions are cheaper uh, when we will use the, the ICT, so the, the, the WISIS especially forum, when we can exchange our views, uh, see a very good project uh, which uh, w were uh, made in other countries and uh, learn from each other. It is uh, the best way and the best so, uh, solution. So I appreciate a lot uh, the ITO, the UNESCO and other uh, organizations and facilitators uh, to organize uh, such forum because it is very fruitful for governments, regulators, but also non-governmental organization. Uh, academia is very, very fruitful for all the stakeholders. Indeed, it's really a platform for the multi-stakeholder approach. Magdalena Guy, head of the regulatory authority in Poland, thank you very much for joining us this thank afternoon. Thank you so much. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel where we'll be hearing from regulators, 
private sector, public sector ministers on how information communication technology can improve people's lives everywhere around the world.